My name is Buddy Driggers. I'm the Parts and Fuel Manager for the City of Tallahassee Fleet Division. We do have an environmental mission, and that is that we, we take into consideration all technologies when we're making purchases or when we're looking at everyday practices that we have, whether that be from the technician standpoint or from the parts standpoint. What can we do to, to bring technology to the forefront to help us do a better job of what we're doing and still meet our needs, but also to help the environment? Yeah, that's all LED and uh, This doesn't have the solar thing on top of it though, does it? Uh, I don't think so. I hadn't heard of them yet. We're looking at a new one. Yeah. A new style strobe that's gonna have a um it'll have a solar panel right in the top of it uh -huh. and it'll help offset the <clears throat> it'll keep it from eating up the batteries. Right. right. So. A fleet well, we, we really emphasize the green aspect of trying to find out what equipment we can buy, what processes we can use that are also environmentally friendly. You know, the thing that we really look for more than anything is, is look for ways when we're buying equipment, we look for ways to, is there an alternative way to do what we're doing? One instance is a bucket truck that we have. We bought a diesel powered bucket truck, but we also ordered a little pony motor on the back of it that runs, it's a lot smaller engine that we can run on biodiesel that runs all the hydraulic functions on the piece of equipment. It's a little tiny thing with a hydraulic pump on it, when you get out to the job, you're shutting off the main unit, which is a, a six cylinder, big six cylinder diesel engine that'll be running, and all its function is, is to drive a hydraulic pump so that you can go up and down in the bucket truck. Now we're doing that with a smaller engine, considerably smaller and at a fraction of the cost. You know, right sizing the fleet is huge because, you know, let's just take into account, if you're running a V8 uh, or a V10 Ford, and you can do the same job with a little four cylinder, I mean, you're gonna save a lot of fuel. And when you compound that and multiply it through the entire fleet, uh, the savings becomes a lot more substantial. Well, see this here. We have a predetermined list of environmental concerns that we address right up front when it concerns the purchasing of equipment. It's something that we use as a weeding out process of, of equipment purchases. Technology for heavy equipment, heavy trucks, and light duty vehicles is accelerating. We all want to move towards another alternative fuel, whether that be electric um, or some other kind of alternative fuel. Types of fuels that we mostly use for all the equipment for the city of Tallahassee would be unleaded gas, diesel fuel, and we use biodiesel as well that we produce in-house. One of the things that we've decided to do as a fleet is to make our own biodiesel at our facility. We opted not to take the route of buying biodiesel because we thought that we could produce it for less. Well, this is, you, you got both your barnacle bills in town, the Beefo Brady's uh, on the north side of town. What the purpose of the board is to let us know where all our tanks are at, where they're located, and the last time that we actually went out and picked up the oil, when the last time was when we serviced any given one of them. We have a, a route that we run, and we have multiple containers at restaurants and drop-off sites throughout the city and the community and we have a truck that we go around and we suck those tanks out and pick up that oil. The restaurants, the ones that are participating in, in our biodiesel program are foregoing being able to sell their waste product by donating it to the city so that we can make fuel out of it. Some of the receptacles that we have for picking up community oil, like some of ours out at the solid waste pickup sites and the one at Fleet, being able to bring it out to Fleet or put it in one of these recycled containers and know that that's part of what will be a renewable fuel that the city can use to power their fleet. That's a good thing. You know, looking at the biodiesel program as a whole, it would be our desire to reach some point where we had 25% of our fleet, maybe even more. We know it's a great fuel. It helps with the emissions. Every gallon that we can produce there is less, one less gallon we have to buy from somewhere else. So overall, it's a good program.